that didn't work out. All right, guys, this is Matt Hall, Simple Copter. Uh, I've got a new design of the T-Copter. Uh, arms, of course, fold just like the old one, but these actually fold a little bit better. Um, it's got a battery hook on the bottom, so your battery won't flop off. It's got built-in uh, lugs for the uh, landing gear. Landing gear are included with this. And the newest, coolest thing is the, uh, the rear boom is now made with a, um, I forget what kind of plastic it is, but it's basically plastic and it, it will bend but not break. So that should be uh, a really nice for anyone who's uh, flown my stuff forward and had a boom break on occasion. Um, so real proud of this one and uh, it also weighs about an ounce a lot than the old one and um, we're going to fly it. So just for those who have um, worked with me before, I got nothing. I guess I'll let it sit there a second. Um, there. So it's, it's a baby. It's gentle. It's big. You can see it from a distance. You can tell which way it's going, which is very important when you're trying to learn how to be a pilot. Um, and of course, is all simple copters are. It's quite aerobatic. I was going to hit that tree, didn't you? Or flip on the automatic uh, stabilization. Gyro initialized. And it's gentle and babyish. Um, learning how to fly, obviously, you, you want to start with the auto level, which means basically when you let go of the stick, it comes back level, so you're like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. It'll, it'll come back flat again. So, helps for learning. Helps for video, and if you're just doing some video too. So, switch them back off. Thought about doing two. There we go. I've always loved the tea copters, always my favorite. And um This is a stress tester. Let's try it the other way. Nope, tree. Crap. If I don't think about it, I can do it.
I'm just being stupid here. Obviously the arms fold back. Which is good. Let's go down the street. It's not a good idea at all. big place to get sent up to speed to it, sorry. It's tight, it's tight around here. which is a good thing. So it doesn't break the turbo, it doesn't break other stuff, so let me uh, let me pop that back in, I'll fly some more. Okay, I'll fix. in a small yard. As long as I don't have nice cars. And there goes Tubdom again. Either way, it's a, it's a good way to save your servos and not having your life go miserable on you. So it's easy just basically doing that. Pop it out a little bit. Stick it back down the hole. And I missed. I don't have my reading glasses. I can't see so well. And back in the hole. 
So it doesn't happen in flight, it just tends to happen when you hit the ground, which is better than paying $27 for another servo every time you crash. So. Sometimes it's better just to let it hit the ground. Either way, I love flying the T-Copter. Um, I'm going to have a build video on this one because it's been a long time since I've done a build video on a T-Copter and a lot of things have changed. I will also give you, uh, I'll do my best to try to teach you how to build, put a NASA board in it, which NAS, NAS32, my bad, NAS32 board. And um, I really suck at the NAS32. It took me forever to get it to work, but uh, I'll try to do my best to help you put one in there if you are, think you're ready. If you're not flying, Pretty much at my level, the state of the KK board is so much easier to program and it's so much better to set up. So, so here it is, guys. Simple T-Copter version 2.0, lighter, wonderful Duraboom. It will bad really good. That's about 25 pounds of force. So, I don't think we're gonna have a, a breaking problem. Of course, I just popped my servo loose again doing that. So, I might need to put a new. Uh, nah, nah, it's just, I kind of grabbed it funny. But either way, I'm really happy this bump boom, and we're gonna have some really fun with it. I hope if I can get the stupid thing back in the hole. But either way, there we go. I just need to tighten up. That's what it is. I don't know if you can tell, but the uh, I spread to the heat spread, so I need to get it pinched back down tight again, so it'll hold or put a piece of fuel tubing or O-ring or something to hold it together. So either way, it's my bad. But here we go. Cool.